Uh, breakfast is uh, like a smoothie bowl which I kind of create, uh, which has uh, you know gluten free granola, dates in it, almond milk, some nuts in it, a banana in it. If I get berries, I put berries. If I don't get berries, I put a, you know I put uh, something else that is a substitute. Uh, so my first meal is that. Uh, and on the days I'm eating, uh, I'm, I just eat eggs because that's the way I get my my protein source. So uh, there are days eggs, uh, which is probably poached or an omelette with a lot of vegetables. Uh, these two are normally what I variate between for the breakfast meal. Uh, my lunch is I love Indian food, uh, so I eat dal, chawal, sabzi, uh, which is um, which is what I love the most and that I find that the most satiating. Uh, dinner, dinner. I actually for me dinner before the meal before dinner is very important. So that is around like five thirty six. I end up snacking on a lot of nuts and then I work out and then in the night again I eat uh, something that's a protein rich uh, meal. So sometimes it's uh, you know it's eggs with vegetables. Sometimes so it depends on my activity levels. Like the days the activity is a lot, uh, you know the food changes a little bit, a little bit more carb in it. If I've really really worked out and really burnt it all, then I eat a little more carb in it. Oh yeah, I mean cheat days are as important as pursuing and doing a, doing a diet properly. So I think every tenth day I naturally end up cheating, and uh, I cheat with whatever I really feel like eating. Uh, I don't cheat if I get something that you know is lukewarm. Alcohol by itself is not healthy, uh, and if you really want to drink, just drink whatever you want because I don't think you can. I think it's really sad when people fool themselves and think this is the best. You know, alcoholic drink that is okay for that time. If you're drinking, just drink what makes you happy, and then get done with it, and then follow your diet division. Uh, you know, I think water is the most underrated. Uh, although it's not food, but it's it's pretty much for your skin. Sometimes you're hungry, but actually you're not hungry. You only need you're pretty much thirsty, but you don't realize that. So water, constant amount of like a lot of water, especially when if you live in a city like Mumbai, which I do, uh, I need a lot of water going in. Healthy foods. Um, Everything that is naturally available is healthy. Uh, the moment you process any food too much, uh, it loses its natural, in, you know, its uh, nutrients. So, uh, cooking to cooking food to a limited point is nice. Even a potato, for that matter, like if you boil a potato, it's healthy. But if you fry it, it loses it loses its nutrients. I think find something that's sustainable. Like most people don't end up uh, starting off their uh, weight, you know, weight loss goals only because they just try something too drastic. Uh, too drastic does give you results, but then it's not sustainable. So you get back to what you are, and then that's not motivating. So essentially, I feel it's very important for whoever wants to go on a weight loss program should do something that is actually sustainable and little willpower. So this is what I eat in a day. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, there are days where I still eat what I really like to eat. So of course, it sounds really healthy and stuff, but uh, Pavaji is life.